Welcome to this video. Are you interested in why your vehicle diagnosis displays C148311? How is the error code interpreted by the vehicle? What does C148311 mean, or how to correct this fault? Today we will find answers to these questions together. Let's do this. First, let's look at the history of diagnostic fault code composition according to the OBD2 protocol, which is unified for all automakers since 2000. We divide the electric system of automobile into the four basic units. Powertrain. Body. Chasis. Network. This distribution is defined in the first character code. If the second character is expressed as zero, it is a standardized error. In the case of numbers 1, 2, 3 it is a more prestigious expression of the car-specific error. The third character specifies a subset of errors. The distribution shown is valid only for the standardized DTC code. Only the last two characters define the specific fault of the group. The add-on to the error code serves to specify the status in more detail. For example, a short to the ground. Let's not forget that such a division is valid only if the other character code is expressed by the number zero. Our website airbagreset.sk produces useful videos for you. You do not have to go through the OBD2 protocol anymore to know how to troubleshoot any car breakdown. You will find all the diagnostic codes that can be diagnosed in a Jeep, vehicles, also many other useful things. The following demonstration will help you look into the world of software for car control units. You unbelievably can move the video a bit further. The error code is split into two bytes consisting of 16 bits. One bit is the basic unit that each computer works with. The bit has two logical states. 0, low level. 1, high level. By combining the first two bits, the basic character of the error code is expressed. The next two bits again determine the second character. The last bit styles of the first byte define the third character of the code. The second byte is composed of a combination of eight bits. The first four bits determine the fourth character of the code. And the combination of the last four bits defines the fifth character. A single byte conceals 256 possible combinations. We now know in what way the diagnostic tool translates the received information into a more comprehensible format. The number itself does not make sense to us if we cannot assign information about it to what it actually expresses. So, what does the diagnostic trouble code C148311 interpret specifically Jeep car manufacturers? The basic definition is Output shaft counter shaft speed sensor intermittent failure. And now this is a short description of this DTC code. If pulse dropouts occur with the output shaft counter shaft rotating, the PCM detects a malfunction that may be caused by an open, a temporary open, or a short to ground based on the fluctuation of the vehicle speed measured by the output shaft counter shaft speed sensor, a malfunction is detected the fluctuation of the vehicle speed measured by the output shaft counter shaft speed sensor in 10 milliseconds is 4 miles per hour 6 kilometers per hour or more, and it fluctuates at at least six times within 500 milliseconds. Note this code is caused by an electrical circuit problem and cannot be caused by a mechanical problem in the transmission. This diagnostic error occurs most often in these cases. Faulty or improperly installed output shaft countershaft speed sensor poor connections and loose terminals at the output shaft countershaft speed sensor and the PCM open in the wires between PCM connector terminals and ground or poor ground open or short in the wire between PCM connector terminal and the output shaft countershaft speed sensor connector PCM needs to be updated with the latest software faulty PCM circuit short to ground this subtype is used for failures, where the control module measures ground battery negative potential for greater than a specified time period or when some other value is expected. The Airbag Reset website aims to provide information in 52 languages. 
Thank you for your attention and stay tuned for the next video.